hello guys welcome back to the next video where we are solving the or question under question number eight and this is also an admission sum however in this sum you're required to prepare only the partners capital accounts no journals are required all right let's get started and again we will follow the method where we will pick up the items as we go along and make the necessary entries the first one says the old PSR is 2 is 2 3 between Greg and Rohit and the new partner admitted is Kunal the new PSR is already given 5 is to 3 is to 2 let's do the for best calculation is the sacrificing ratio let's complete that because anyways we will have to do it at a later stage so 2 by 5 and 3 by 5 is the old ratio new ratio is 5 by 10 that means 1 by 2 so 5 by 10 then we have 3 by 10 and we have 2 by 10 <coughs> sacrifice for Greg let's do the calculation it is straight away old ratio minus new ratio let's see how much do we get 2 by 5 minus 5 by 10 for Rohit 3 by 5 minus 3 by 10 okay so if you do the simple LCM so 10 is the LCM then what do we get here 2 into 2 4 so 4 minus 5 by 10 that's what we are getting here 4 minus 5 by 10 and here what are we getting 5 into 2 5 2 times so 3 into 2 6 6 minus 3 all right so we are getting 6 minus 3 by 10 so this one as you can see this is coming as minus 1 by 10 all right so if this is minus 1 by 10 that means this is not a sacrifice rather it's a gain okay that's a gain and for Rohit we get a positive 3 by 10 so that's a sacrifice okay so only Rohit is sacrificing now Greg is gaining so there is no sacrificing ratio which is required 3 by 10 is the sacrifice which Rohit has made in favor of Kunal 2 by 10 and in favor of Greg 1 by 10 okay now Greg is gaining so Greg also has to compensate Rohit about his gain like one tenth of the goodwill he is gaining so one tenth he has to compensate Rohit so let's do the entries one by one as we move along the first one that we have on the liability side Sunday creators there is no straightforward entry for that outstanding salaries no straightforward entry general reserve we have 8000 and if nothing is mentioned here then that is straight away distributed among the old partners in the old ratio the additional information doesn't talk anything about general reserve so this can be straight away distributed general reserve all right so this is in the ratio in the old ratio so that is 8000 to be distributed in the ratio 2 is to 3 so we get 8000 into 2 by 5 that is 3200 and here for Rohit this will be straight away 8000 minus 3200 so 4800 general reserve is done let's move on to the next entry that we have the capital accounts of Greg and Rohit so that comes out as buy balance BD okay it's 25,000 for Greg and 10,000 for Rohit okay 
So the liability side is done. Let's move on to the asset side. We have goodwill, 10,000. And as per the rules during admission, during retirement, during death or during change in PSR, if any goodwill is appearing in the asset side, that is to be written off among the old partners in the old ratio. This is not used in any further calculation. All right. So straight away, we'll write to goodwill account. Okay, 10,000 to be distributed in the ratio 2 is to 3, so into 2 by 5, 4,000 and 6,000. Done for Greg and Rohit. Next, we have office equipment, no direct adjustment, sundry creators, less provisions and cash, no direct adjustment. However, for office equipment, we have something at the bottom where we see that the revalued figure is 42,000 and the old figure is 37 so there is an increase in the value of office equipment which is passed through the revaluation account okay so in that case the revaluation profit is 5000 because it's an increase in the value of assets that's the revaluation profit of 5000 that is distributed again among the old partners in the old ratio so by revaluation account okay so 5,000 in the ratio 2 by 2 is to 3, so it's 2 by 5, 2,000 and 3,000. All right, so revaluation is also done. Office equipment done. Let's move on to the further entries that we have. The new profit sharing ratio is given. Out of that, we calculated how much is gain, how much is sacrifice. Now, let's do the entry for the compensation for that we need to use the information given in point number B Konal to bring his share of capital of 25,000 all right the journal for that will be straight away by cash account and Kunal's column we will write 25,000 okay now he is also bringing his share of goodwill in cash so that goes as buy premium for goodwill account all right buy premium for goodwill account that entire premium that Kunal is bringing in will be given to Rohit because he is the only sacrificing partner so the entire 5000 he is getting now the gaining partner Greg he is also supposed to compensate Rohit so let's find out how much he's supposed to compensate. For that, we would need firm's goodwill. Okay. Now firm's goodwill will have to be calculated from Kunal's goodwill that Kunal brought in. So Kunal brought in 5,000 for his share, which is 2 by 10, that means 1 fifth. Right. So firm's goodwill will be 5,000 into 10 by 2 okay so that is coming to 25,000 that is firm's goodwill now if firm's goodwill is 25,000 how much Greg is supposed to compensate so Greg's contribution or compensation to Rohit that will be one tenth of 25,000 all right so that comes to 2,500 straightforward the journal entry for this is Greg's capital account debit to Rohit's capital account so we have to pass it for both of them so Greg's capital account is debited, we write here, to Rohit's capital account and that is debited to Greg's account, so 2500 for Greg and we come to the credit side by Greg's capital account 
and 2500 is created to Rohit. Alright, the double entry for this is complete. Do we have anything left? Kunal's entry we have done, 25,000. Premium for goodwill also we have done, office equipment also we have done. So we are done with the entries. Now the final amount, final thing that we have to do is find out the balances. Everything the admission is happening on 1st April, so all the entries are dated 1st April. So to balance CD. Let's do it one by one. How much do we have it for Greg? So for Greg it is 30,200 minus 4,000 minus 2,500. It's 23,700. That is Greg's total and the balance CD is 23,700. There is no adjustment of capital given here, so it will be a straightforward calculation. 25,300 we have it here. So how much is the balance for Rohit? It is 19,300. And for Kunal, there is just one item that Kunal has, which is 25,000. And there is nothing this which is debited to Kunal. So for Kunal, the capital balance remains as 25,000. So this is the entire ledger account for partners, capital account, as a part of admission of a partner. Hope this was helpful. If this was helpful, hit the like button and share with your friends. We'll catch you all in the next video with the next series of sums that we have. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.